Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, in this video today, we're going to be talking about our navigation bar at the top here. How you can build it, how you can change colors on scroll, stop it from shrinking if that's what you want, and align items. So let's go down to our dashboard. We're going to go down to appearance and customize. That's going to take us to this page here. We've got no page set as our home page. This is just a generic WordPress post page right here. But we have got a navigation with a default menu, so we can customize it how we want. If we go down, we'll find header and navigation right here. We click on it. This is our primary menu right here. We go down here, we'll see our primary menu bar. Let's click on it. And there's various options. We'll start at the top. You can make it full width if you want to. See the logos hit the left and the menus hit the right there. You can hide the logo image completely if you want to. You can decide how tall your menu is going to be by sliding this up and down or typing a value in there. Let me give my menu height, say 80. I'll remember that. Remember that number. Actually, that's a little tall. Let's make it 60. Yeah, I think that's about right for me. Remember that 60. We're going to use it in a minute. Logo max height. If you're not happy with the size of your logo within your header there, you can make it bigger or smaller by doing the same thing, sliding up and down. When you're happy, just leave it where it is. Text size for our little menu items there. Obviously, type in a value, slide that up and down. I'm quite happy for them to be like that. Letter spacing, obviously, it's going to add more space between each letter if you slide this up. Again, I was happy with the default there. As with most Divi settings, if you do something and you don't like it, simply select the setting, hit the delete button, and it'll take it back to the default for you. You can choose your font style here. Crazy amount of fonts to choose from with Divi. I'm going to leave mine on the default. Once you've chosen your font style, you can bold it, italicize it, make it capitalize if you want, underline it if you want. Let's take all of those away. Text color. Obviously, choose whatever color you want. You can choose an actual color. Or you can put an RGBA or hex color up there. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. Active link color. We've got no active links at the moment. But say we were on the home page and we went to the sample page. If you want that to be highlighted when we get to the sample page. Choose your active link color here. Now background color for the header itself is right there. I change it. It shows you the difference there. I was happy with mine being white. Drop down menu background color. Well, we've not got one here at the moment because we've not built any pages or any menus with drop down. We'll be covering that in another one. And there's a little line between our regular menu and the drop down here. Usually that's that color. Drop down menu text color. And you've got various different animations. When we build a drop down, we'll come back to this and I'll show you those. Great. Well, there's a few things that you want to remember here. When I scroll down this page, there's, I'm just going to flip and make something the home page so I can scroll. At, this, at the moment, this is not deep enough for me to scroll. So let's go back up to the top here. I'm going to go back and back again. But at the bottom, we've got our home page settings here. Now, I've not actually got any published pages, but we have been working on one for this video. Another great thing to learn is how to set your home page. So at the moment, I've got... It's the home page and the sample page. I think the home page is one we did for a demo. That's fine, yeah. It's got plenty of scroll room there. I showed you how to load a template with that one. Now we've got a bit of scrolling room. Let's go back to where we were, which was in the header and navigation. Primary menu bar, this one up here. And what I was about to say before is if you scroll down this site, that header bar is shrinking. 
And that's fine. If you like that effect, just leave it like that. But we've got actually two menus going on here. At the top there, that's our primary menu bar. When I roll and it shrinks, that's the fixed navigation bar. To demonstrate that further to you, let's roll up the top here. We'll go back from our primary menu. If I go down to our fixed navigation settings now, and I change the background color, background color, let's make it something crazy like red. Now you don't see anything because this isn't the fixed navigation. If I roll down now, you can see when that menu shrinks, that's the fixed navigation part right there and it's changing to that red color. So if you do want to change the color on scroll, that's an easy way to do it. Now, if you decide that you don't want it to shrink, remember when we set this up, I told you, remember the height that we had there, which was, I think it was 60, fixed menu height was 60. So if we match those heights, make this one 60 also, now when I scroll, that menu stays exactly the same height. So it's entirely up to you. Not sure that I want that red on scroll. Let's take that away and we'll give it back its white color. Great. Well, let's go back now. We'll go into our header format just above the primary menu. And here you can decide what styles you want. You can have the default styles. You can have it centered with the logo in the center there. You can have it centered with an inline logo, so that the logo's in the middle with your menu there. You can have a slide in menu, which will just slide in there. You can also have a full screen menu, which is fairly self explanatory. If you click on a little hamburger menu right there, it gives a full page menu. There's some great little options there. I'm going to flip mine back onto the default, which is logo on the left, navigation on the right. Great. Well, let's roll back one more time. You've got a nice colored heading here. Sometimes if you've got a nice hero section, you want your nav bar to be transparent. You can do that as well. If we go back to our primary menu bar here and we roll down to our background color here, hit the select color. If you take this checkered slider all the way down, that opacity, it'll become totally see-through. And what it does, it jumps the page up a little bit. So we've got that nice purple one scrolling through there. Obviously, I'd want a better logo than that, perhaps a white colored logo. But if you've got a great hero image, it's sometimes nice to have no navigation up there. But of course, when we scroll, you can still set the fixed navigation to have a little color. So if you scroll over light areas, it doesn't get mixed up there. So let's do that. I'll show you this option fully. We'll go back. Remember our scrolling menu is the fixed navigation. If we go into the fixed navigation now, let's make that black. And remember, we won't see it till I start scrolling. I'm going to take the opacity down maybe about 50%. Now, when I start scrolling, you see that dark menu coming in here. And when it's over the white, you'll be able to read it better. Now, if it works better for you, you can change the color of your menu just in this particular one. By rolling down primary menu link color, let's change that to white. Now, the opacity is down a little bit. Let's make it a little bit brighter. That stands out a lot better. So when we're at the top, we can see our whole of our colored image at the top. When we roll down, it's going to change completely, but that's going to be perfectly legible. As I said, I'd probably put a white logo in there or one that works better with that transparent background. Great. Well, I'm going to change my primary back to as it was. And I'm going to call it good to go. Background color. I'm going to make that white again. Take the opacity back up. And there we are. Once you've done your changes, make sure you hit your publish changes and you're good to go. So there you go, guys. There's a brief overview of our primary navigation bar.
and setting your scroll colours and things like that. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.